What is up ladies and gents? Welcome back to the best freaking cooking channel on the internet. Other cooking channels make you fat. This one makes you lean, mean, and dare I say more handsome. Handsome. Or prettier if you're of the feminine influence. But regardless of which way your flag blows in the wind today, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make a New York pizza from scratch right in our own kitchen that is going to contain a fraction of the calories, way more protein, and will be, dare I say, just as delicious. If you're tired of the pizza you've been eating swelling you up like a balloon, then look no further than this video because I'm telling I'm telling you, it just might change your life. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get this thing going. If y'all are ready with our epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm ready to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! All right, folks, I promise you this is easy. Some basic culinary skills are required, but I'm gonna teach you everything. First thing we need is a bowl on a food scale, and we're gonna grab some self-rising flour. Now, a lot of people get intimidated by working with flour, but this method I'm gonna show you couldn't be any easier. Plus, flour's cheap, and after that, we're gonna add 100 grams of plain, fat-free Greek yogurt. I promise you, you won't even taste it. It's gonna add a lot of protein and volume to this dough right here. And then to add some nice flavors, we're gonna drop in two grams of garlic powder, along with two grams of kosher salt. Who's ready for some exploratory diet? Diagnosis. Now what I'm gonna do is go in by hand and mix everything together. As you start to do it, it'll clump up and eventually we'll be left with a dough ball. And bingo, after a couple minutes of kneading, we have ourselves a perfect dough ball here. What are we gonna do now? We'll just grab a pizza baking circle or you can use a baking sheet if you're not a man of culture. Hit a nonstick. Then we'll set this pretty little dough ball right down in the middle. And I know what you're thinking, Remington, that was a crafty trick to make that dough ball. No yeast, less calories, more protein. Seems like magic. And I'm here to tell you it's not magic. It works like magic the results are like magic, but really it just comes down to having the knowledge on how to make meals that still taste good, but ultimately do your body some good. And if you want access to every single recipe I've ever dropped, over 300 of them, with tips and tricks just like this one, don't forget you can always pick up a copy of my cookbook at the first link in the description box. And I'm telling you, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, we have quite literally everything in this book. And I know for 100% certainty, if you follow it, you truly do, you will see results no matter what. Plus when I drop videos like this one, every time that recipe comes out, it gets added to the book for free. So it really is the gift that keeps on giving. If you want to follow the best diet on the planet, hit that link in my description because I know you won't regret it. And once we've got our dough ball here, we just need to form it. So we're gonna start by pushing down with our hands, molding it into a circle, and then now all we're gonna do is work from the middle to the outside until it's roughly the same size as a large pizza. And check out our dough, guys. Ain't she a beaut? Now, when it comes to toppings, we're gonna use the traditional ones, except we're gonna make some small tweaks. So, we're gonna use a regular tomato sauce, as commonly found on a lot of pizzas, specifically New York, but we wanna go with no sugar added. They be sneaking calories and sugar into our sauces, and we wonder why we got a problem with our belly. Now, employing the help of a trusty food scale, we're gonna weigh out 122 grams of our sauce and put it right in the middle. And once it's on, we'll just go ahead and spread it edge to edge, making sure we leave a little bit of room for our crust. And now, we need to add some mozzarella cheese but we're not gonna use reduced fat or full fat, whole milk, none of that stuff. What we need is fat-free mozzarella cheese. This stuff right here contains a fraction of the calories of regular cheese, but a ton more protein. So what I have in this bowl is 224 grams, and we're gonna go ahead and spread that evenly across the top of our pizza. And at this point, if you just wanted a cheese New York style pizza, you could toss this in the oven. But we're gonna go with the pepperoni version because everything's better with pepperonis. What I have here is 30 grams of turkey pepperoni, and this is by far the superior your version compared to regular pepperoni that you should be eating if you're trying to watch your physique. And I'm telling you, once you try it, it actually tastes really dang good and you don't feel like you're missing out or eating healthy at all. We're just gonna spread these evenly across the top of the pizza. And boom, folks, look at that. Our pizza is assembled. Told y'all it was easy. All we gotta do now, ooh, that's an amazing angle. We're just gonna toss this bad boy in the oven. 400 degrees for about 10 to 14 minutes. As Soon as that cheese is bubbling and that crust looks crispy, you're gonna be good. We're gonna toss this in, bop. We're gonna set a timer. Boom. When I return, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a trip to New York. Let's go. Take a look at this pizza, folks. This right here is what dreams are made of. I sprinkled a little Italian seasoning on top just to give her a little shine. Now, what we're gonna do, normally I cut my pizzas into about eight slices, but since it's New York style, we're gonna cut this into four big bad boys. Just take the pizza cutter, we'll take her right down the middle, boom. Then we'll do a little cross cut, and boom. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that. We've officially made healthy, high protein, New York style pizza. Now, let's go ahead and put it in our mouth. 
And as tempting as it is to jump right into this pizza immediately, first I gotta give away a box of the best tasting protein bar in the world, the Anabar. If you wanna enter these giveaways, just make sure you like this video, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment down below. I choose a winner, we announce it in every video. The winner from the last one is Mike Long with the comment, RJ, I'm 50 years old and started watching you and using your recipes around four months ago. I'm now below 250 pounds for the first time in 30 years. Thanks, man. Well, Mike, I appreciate the kind words and congrats on getting below 250. You know, there's that old saying that no food tastes as good as skinny feels. And although I might argue that because some foods are absolutely delicious, it really does feel good to just weigh less and be healthier. You know, we get in these little routines and rhythms with how our body is and you wake up and you don't even realize you feel bad until you don't feel bad anymore and then you start feeling good. Seriously, I've had times in my life where like a month or two goes by and I genuinely just felt like crap and couldn't put my finger on it. I didn't connect the dots that it might have been the pizza and the ice cream I was eating while I was staying up till 3 a.m. I couldn't put two and two together, but basically, man, yeah, congrats. 250's huge, and I hope as long as it's in your goals that you keep pushing forward. I always preach it's all about consistency and making sure you're fueling your body with the right stuff, and if you keep watching the channel, we don't gotta worry about that second one. Appreciate you, man. Email with email in my description box. I'll get one of these beautiful boxes out to you ASAP. And for everybody else, if you wanna check out Anabar, we just launched at HEB stores all over Texas. So if you wanna try one, swing in there. I would appreciate the support so much, and for everybody else, TheAnabar.com. My code RGF10 will save you money at checkout, and I promise, if you want a protein bar that legitimately tastes like a candy bar, this right here is what you want. Appreciate all the support, as always. Now, let's get in and get one of these beautiful slices. Which one do I want? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that bad boy right there. Give that thing a looking, huh? We got the crust up top. We got that thick layer of cheese, the sauce underneath them peps. Mm-mm-mm. I really don't know how. We can go wrong with this one. Three, two, one, let's go. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is fantastic. Literally, the crust tastes like traditional pizza dough like you'd find on a New York pizza. The seasonings we infuse with it gives it that little garlicky, salty taste that we love. And then between the sauce, the cheese, and the turkey pepperoni, literally, if you're having a pizza craving, I suggest you eat this right here instead of ordering one because not only are you gonna save a ton of calories and get in way more protein, but you're not gonna wake up bloated, feeling like crap, and guilty because you cheated on your diet. I always try to tell people that is the goal with recipes like this, right? When you have those cravings, those unstoppable cravings when you're dieting that always throw you off track. You can trick your brain into thinking you're doing something bad when you make something like this. You get your pizza fix, but ultimately it fits right into what you're already doing. I used to crave all sorts of stuff, pizza, ice cream, donuts, but now if I do that, I just make the better anabolic, healthier for you version and poof, those cravings disappear. I'm still eating good and seeing results all at the same time. Mm. Now you guys witnessed it. To get that New York size and shape, we had to cut this pizza into four pieces. So if you have one of these pieces, what you get is just 235 calories with only a gram and a half of fat. You get a whopping 26 grams of protein with 29 grams of carbs and 1.5 grams of fiber. And if we compare that to a slice of New York pizza you'd get anywhere else, you'll obviously notice first and foremost that the fat is exponentially higher and the carbs are probably double, maybe even triple. All of that for a slice of pizza that might taste good but isn't doing your body anything near what this is doing when you eat it. And then if we calculate the whole pizza, what we get is 942 calories with just six grams of fat, 104 grams of protein, 118 grams of carbs with six grams of fiber. Once again, take any New York style pizza or any pizza in particular you would order from any of your favorite restaurants, compare the calories, compare the protein, compare the fat, and you'll notice very quickly that this right here beats every single one of them. So as I always try to tell people, it's not about giving up foods we love, it's about making better choices, fellas and ladies. And if you do that at every single meal for even just a week, you will be astonished on who you turn into after that week's time is up. It all comes down to consistency at the end of the day, not lying to yourself, and getting in that kitchen and making magic happen. When you do that, not only will you feel better, you'll look better, but most importantly, you'll be eating good while doing it. If any of you guys out there decide to make this, make sure you take a pretty picture and tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tinder, whatever is your social, let me know what you think. And as always, if you have the RGF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated, so this recipe is now in there, along with every other recipe from the channel. I know I say this a lot, but I know if you got this book and you followed what was in here, you truly did. If you were consistent, you would see results no matter what. And on top of that, the diet never gets boring every time I drop a new video. With the new recipe, it gets added to the book for free. So if you wanna try the best diet on the planet with the best cookbook on the planet in your pocket, make sure you hit that link down below in my description box. So yeah guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully y'all are gonna make some pizza and hopefully y'all are making some weight loss gain. I know it can seem like a daunting task at first, but I promise, once you get started, you even get just a weekend, those habits start to form. Once you get in a routine and you get into the habit, it literally becomes second nature and a lifestyle. That way, instead of doing a diet to lose weight for a vacation, you're just always gonna be vacation ready because you've been eating good. And with all the weight you'll be losing, you might need some new clothes. So as always, check it out. This is the Young LA Cutoff Tee. I think I wear this in too many, but I don't give you guys a good representation 
of what their apparel looks like because I'm OCD and I wear the same things over and over again. But this is one of Young LA's cutoff tees and check it out. I'm wearing a pair of their new basketball shorts with the branding and the best part about all these things, obviously the fit's great and the quality's great, but it's the fact that all of their stuff has wallet pockets. Gosh, you know how many times I bought shorts without pockets? Talk about a miserable existence. I don't know how anybody goes through life wearing sport shorts without pockets. So if you want those or you want joggers or shirts or even women, if you want workout clothes, Young LA has everything. You just gotta look at it and I'm telling you, you'll find something. And all you gotta do is go to youngla.com. When you check out, use my code RJF. That'll save you money and I promise you'll love your stuff because it's literally all I wear. I say that in every video, but I mean, it's the truth. So <laughs> if I like it and it's up to my standards, I assume uh, it'll be up to yours too. So check it out. I know you'll love it. And if you wanna make things as simple as possible, right? You wanna get on a meal plan that's guaranteed to work, you can always check out my website, RemedyJaysFitness.com. You can sign up for a meal plan. How have you fill out a questionnaire where you choose from a list of foods? Give me your stats, height, weight, age, how much you're lifting. Did you grow up in a single parent household? All the important stuff and I'll break down a meal plan specifically for you and all you gotta do at that point is follow it. That sounds good, check out my website. And with that, we are out of here, folks. I love each and every one of you. Appreciate you guys as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. Woo, we gone. Mmm, that's good pizza.